it's Dave Ward back with you again answering your questions about being a Beachbody coach. I want to start by thanking you for all of the great questions I have gotten. I've got a long list of them. Uh, I'm going to try and do one or two videos a week. We're going on the cruise with Beachbody next week, so if I'm a little bit slow in getting those out, please bear with me. Uh, but please send me more questions as well. Either post a comment below wherever you're watching this video or uh, send me an email at info at the Fit Club Network. So today we are going to talk about the big one, which is understanding whether Beachbody is a pyramid scheme, okay? Now, I wanna start by saying that I totally understand um, this concern or objection because it's the same one that I had. When the company first got started, they called my wife Monica and said, hey, we'd like you to be one of the first people involved with this cool new company that we are starting. And they did that because we were already existing customers of theirs and my wife was really involved with um, their message board community and, and being a part of that. And she instantly said yes, and I instantly said no, we shouldn't do that, that's a horrible idea, it's probably a pyramid scheme. And I set out trying to prove that it was. Um, why did I do that? Well, one of the reasons I did that is because I was a lawyer at the time, and um, that's how lawyers think, right? We deal in worst case scenarios, is what we do, and uh, I practiced law for 10 years before I did this, so I started my journey with Beachbody uh, trying to prove that it was a pyramid scheme. And so one of the things I did was I went online and looked for information. Now, back then, there wasn't near as information. This was 2000, end of 2006, so there wasn't all that information online, but there was a website hosted by an organization called the Federal Trade Commission. The Federal Trade Commission is the governing body that uh, protects you from things like pyramid schemes and all kinds of other stuff as well, but they regulate network marketing companies, and they are the ones that if somebody is running a pyramid scheme or a Ponzi scheme, which is something, something similar to a pyramid scheme, they are the people who are gonna shut that thing down. So I went to their website and I got some information which I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. Before I get started with that though, I wanna talk about why people often use the word pyramid scheme to refer to something that is actually just a legitimate network marketing uh, company, which is what we are. Let me just show you why. I'm just gonna make a little illustration here. So let's just say it is you and you get involved and you're a Beachbody coach. Every coach has two legs. You have a left leg and a right leg. Sometimes we call them teams or legs, but you have one of each. So all these people have that too, right? They have left and right and left and right, and it might keep going right and left. See how that works? And you have all this organization where everybody's got two teams. So if you just look at the structure of the way our business is, yeah, it, it sort of has a shape that looks like a, what, a pyramid, yeah, right? Because there's one person at the top and a lot of people down below, right? That's not, uh, that shouldn't really surprise you because that's the structure of, of most businesses you're in. I mean, if you just think about it, you have a, a CEO and then maybe you have a CFO and a CIO who report to the CEO and a bunch of people who report to them. Or if you're at like a grocery store or an electronics store, you have a general manager who probably has a whole group of people above him, right? But a general manager, some assistant managers, some maybe you know senior level employees, more like floor level employees than people who kind of stock the back, right? All businesses look like this. And obviously all businesses are not pyramid schemes. So what the FTC has done to help us understand what things are pyramid schemes and what things are legitimate marketing opportunities is they've given us a website. And I will post a link to this website in the description of the video below, but there's a couple things I wanna cover, and I wanna to explain to you what they're looking for, what they think is the FTC, what the FTC thinks is a, an illegal pyramid scheme that you should avoid, and what is legitimate marketing. Okay, so here's what they say. There are two telltale signs that a product is simply being used to disguise a pyramid scheme. Inventory loading and a lack of retail sales. So I'm gonna talk about those two things specifically because that's what the FTC is worried about. Here's what it says. Inventory loading occurs when a company's incentive program, in other words, their compensation plan, forces recruits to buy more products than they could ever sell, often at inflated prices. So let's talk about inventory loading, okay? This is the, this is the, the person that you may know, and this may be why you're watching this video, because you know somebody and they're in a business and they have a garage, my garage is right here, they have a garage that's full of stuff and it's full of stuff that they can't use and maybe can't sell. Maybe it's just because they're not good at sales, but they're stuck with this stuff. And maybe they paid a lot of money to get it. That's inventory loading. 
that's a real red flag for a pyramid scheme. Now, I want to understand if you're in another company and you're watching this and you're going, hey, that's what we do. I'm not saying you're a pyramid scheme. I'm saying that that's what the FTC is looking at. What do we do? That's not what happens here, okay? In order to start as a Beachbody coach, what you want to do is you want to get a challenge pack, okay? What's a challenge pack? A challenge pack is a fitness program that you're going to use, one fitness program that you're going to use, and one month's supply of Shakeology that you're going to use, okay? These are products that you're actually going to use, and that's the way our household is, okay? We've been doing this business, my wife, since the beginning in 2007, me since January of 2009, or actually, I guess, end of 2008. Um, and to this day, the product we have in our house is the stuff that we actually use. I use Shakeology. I love Shakeology. When P90X3 came out, did I buy P90X3? You bet. Guess what? I do it. I love that program. That's what I do. I, you know, I buy stuff that I'm going to use, right? Uh, there are other programs that Beachbody has come out with that don't really appeal to me. I don't need to go through a list of those. And I don't buy those products because I don't need to buy those products because I'm not going to use those products. My customers maybe buy those products, okay? And that's for them. All right, so it's important to understand. Price-wise, the other thing was, right, the two things, right? Uh, more products than they could ever sell, often at inflated prices. That's what the FTC says. The challenge pack is actually at a substantially discounted price. So let's just say your challenge pack is a challenge pack with P90X and Shakeology. That challenge pack is $205. If you bought those products separately, they would cost you $250. And you would pay shipping and handling with the challenge pack you get your shipping and handling for free, okay? So, important to understand, you're not buying more products than you could ever and you could ever sell, and you're not buying them at an inflated price. A lot of companies, their compensation plans, what they do is they reward the person trying to recruit you into this business for selling you this huge pack of stuff, you know, three, four thousand dollars worth of stuff, and what that does is it gives you a bunch of product to start with. That's the stuff that's gonna sit in your garage, okay? Now, again, I'm not saying that that means they're a pyramid scheme. They could be a legitimate thing, and that's how they do it. But they're incentivizing that activity, and that is one of the things the FTC is looking at if they're trying to figure out if that company or our company is a, is a pyramid scheme. The second one, lack of retail sales. Here's what it says. A lack of retail sales is also a red flag that a pyramid exists. Many pyramid schemes will claim that their product is selling like hotcakes. However, on closer examination, the sales only occur between people inside the pyramid structure or to new recruits joining the structure, not consumers out in the general public. So let's reverse engineer that a little bit. Or to new recruits joining the structure. Okay, that's the scenario I just talked to you about where in order to activate your account with whatever business, you need to buy this huge business builder pack that's got more product than you could use. In fact, the idea is you're gonna sell a lot of the product you're buying, right? You buy it first and then sell it. That's not how we work. Again, that's not the way we work. We have a web store. My customers buy stuff from the web store. I don't buy things, have them shipped to me, and then ship them out. That's not how it works. The way it works, they get an account, they go online, they order their product, their product is shipped straight to their door, okay? So that's not what's happening in Team Beachbody as far as lack of retail sales. The other thing about retail sales was most uh, the upon closer examination, the sales occur only between people inside the pyramid structure or to new recruits. Okay, Beachbody spends one hundred and twenty million dollars a year on advertising. Products like P90X, Insanity, Turbofire, a lot of other stuff that's not on the surfboard because this was from two thousand ten. Okay, obviously we have a whole lot of new products since two thousand ten. They spend over $120 million on advertising every year to do what? Generate customers. Those customers are given to qualified coaches. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna cover how you qualify to get the customer leads in this particular video. You can contact me if you wanna know how to do that. It's really pretty simple. But what it means is that everybody who gets involved and qualifies for customer leads has customers. I have substantially more customers and I would say, I haven't counted the numbers, but just based on kind of what I've looked at, I'd say I have five times as many customers as we do coaches in our organization. And it, it may be, the number may even be a little higher than that, okay? Because it's important to understand, this is a customer-based business. I'll just give you a little peek under the glass here about how my business works, okay? In my business, the vast majority of successful coaches in my organization were customers first. 
They weren't people that I met at Starbucks and started instantly talking to about this great business opportunity that I have for them, okay? There were people who were customers of mine first. So what do I do? I focus on getting customers. It's customer-based business. That's what I do. I focus on getting customers. And so I'm making retail sales to customers on a regular, regular basis, okay? And if you do end up joining our team, you'll see that's what we talk about all the time. We actually have our own incentive program that we run within our own team for people who make retail sales. Why would that be important, Dave? Well, it's, it goes beyond just making sure that uh, you're not a pyramid scheme, right? It's about the compensation plan. Because here's the thing about our compensation plan, and this is the other way, I'm kind of surprised the FTC doesn't focus on this more. But here's the other way, and I guess it's just because it doesn't happen anymore, and these companies used to spring up, and then everybody just knows they're garbage, and so avoids them now. But, you know, some people, I think, have the impression that all you do is sign up, and this just magically happens underneath you. Right, and then you just get paid. Yay, I just signed up and I won the lottery. And if that's what you're looking for, um, you're gonna have to keep looking because that's not how our business works. Okay, that's really not how life works. Life works like this. You get paid in direct proportion to the amount of value that you add to other people's experience. Okay, you do that by building a team and teaching them, not recruiting, sponsoring. There's a big difference between those two things, recruiting and sponsoring. Recruiting is just signing people up. If that's all you do is you sign all these people up and what do they do? Oh, they activate their accounts and they never do anything else. They never sell any product. You're not going to get paid very much. And here's the other thing. Let's say uh, your organization doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. You just sign up and all these people who come in are from people above you. You know, they, they're sponsoring out here, right? And then you've got this big long line that goes on and on and on, but you didn't do any of it. You didn't even qualify for, to, make, to make a bonus off of those folks. In order to get paid in our company, you have to build both teams, right? So let's go back and let's draw this in again, right? Let's just say that this is the structure that you've been able to build. Well, now when these people sell product and only when they sell product, only when they sell product, do you have the ability to make a bonus check, okay? Now I could go through uh, a big long video and I'll probably film another one about how that all works. But basically in, in a nutshell, what happens is you take all the volume from here and you take all the volume from here. And every time there's 200 here, oops, that's a 200 and 100 here, you make a cycle bonus and the cycle bonus you make depends on your rank. And I'll just kind of leave it at that and we'll film another video because I can go into that for another 20 minutes and I don't want to do that. What does this mean though? Here's the other thing that this means that you should feel, you should take some comfort in and you should know about your business. What it means is that, let's just say this person here, right? Goes bananas, right? And they build, they build this huge organization, right? That's just, I don't wanna draw it all in there. But they build this, this person here, right? They build this huge organization and they build an organization on this team, so their left team and their right team are both doing really, really well. They will, can, and will make more money than this person if that's all that's built on that team. Our compensation structure is a binary compensation plan. So if you are doing a lot of research, and I, I recommend you do this, by the way. This is an important business decision. I think sometimes people just kind of float into these things. I didn't do that, and I don't expect you to do that. I expect you to be making a business decision here, and if you are, research it. It's a binary. I'll write it down. Hopefully you can see that, B-I-N-A-R-Y, binary compensation plan, and that's what it means. Well, what's cool about that is that means it's not really about getting involved first and not doing anything. Sometimes I think that's what people think my business is. I talk to people and they're like, oh, you're founder. Well, <laughs> you know, you're probably just raking in the dough. I can tell you, I know a lot of people who are founders who aren't. Why? Because they didn't build both teams. That's why. And if you don't build both teams, you don't get paid. And if both teams are productive, not just bodies, right, but actually making sales and being productive people, you don't earn money. Why? Because it's not a lottery ticket and it's not a pyramid scheme. That's one of the other ways that I think you know that you're dealing with a legitimate business is I'm not going to tell you that this is some sort of a lottery ticket and that you just sign up and you're going to make billions of dollars right away. No, that's not how it works. Cause that's not how anything in life works. Just think about it. If that's what you're being sold, you are probably being scammed because that's not how things work. The way things work is that you get rewarded 
for work, okay? And if you're interested in doing that, I can show you how to do this. This is what I do. I said earlier, you get paid in direct proportion to the value you add to other people's experience. How do I add value? Well, on the customer side, it's pretty obvious. I coach people through their fitness programs. On the coach side, I teach them this. I teach people how to build, how to bring these people in, how to make sales. Making sales is important, remember. So I teach people all this stuff, and that's what I do, and that's how I add value to their experience. And I help them do stuff like this. And that's what gets really exciting for me. I've been doing this business long enough that the money doesn't really get me going anymore. That's not really what has me jazzed. What has me jazzed is helping this person right here explode their business and dramatically change their life. That's what gets me stoked, and that's what has me excited about doing this business every single day. That's why I'm here filming this video for you right now. All right, we've gone a little over 15 minutes, which is a long video. I apologize for that, but I think we had a lot of ground to cover. Hopefully, I've answered your question. I didn't really cover Ponzi schemes. A Ponzi scheme is what Bernie Madoff was running. You know, that's an investment scheme where you're investing money, and he's using other investors' money to pay off the people who are first, and that's pretty clearly not what we have here. And again, just go to that FTC link below if, if you're kind of confused about that or want to know what that is or somebody's trying to get some money from you and promising you like 30% returns because that doesn't happen either. All right. All right, guys. Again, if you have more questions, please, please post a comment below or just shoot me an email. I'd be happy to answer your questions. I'm also always looking for people to mentor in this business. If you are interested in being a Team Beachbody coach, let me know.